It's good beautiful people listen uh either welcome or welcome back if it's your first time or if you've come before i appreciate you either way uh it's your girl sheba bare skin and lips uh is who i am and listen don't play with me this is what we're on today this is by far now this is she's not new to the game the janet natural me collection is a super bomb and this is not my first time wearing her but this is my first time doing this color so we're going to be a virgin to both of this it's going to be our first time uh bringing this uh, color out today super excited about it look do that seriously make sure you make that happen for me every week i'm dropping new content it could be book reviews it could be hair it could be beauty tips it could be lips it could be all kind of things um but catch those vibes with me every week okay see what i'm talking about um but today I put her in my top three now of course you guys if you haven't seen some of the previous videos i'm a crochet chick i love crochet hair although i've only been doing it for about uh a year now it's been about a year and i make it my own okay i don't uh say i'm the best at what i do but i do it well on me uh, and I just want to continue to get better and uh, whatever I can do if I can instruct you or you can follow what I'm doing and do it yourself then that's the goal ladies that's why I'm here um, but this particular one uh, again this is an ombre color uh, I guess I didn't really go over it Janet natural me collection lace wig um, ombre the color is a 1b 30 and I'm gonna unbox her and take her out so you can see it better but this is a 1b 30 um, I love the texture of this hair it's very close to my 4c texture you don't have to do a lot literally this is like open it up, open it up cut the lace frame it to your face however you want to rock it take you some baby hairs out or not and go I love it it, it doesn't get much simpler than that um, for me and, and I'm a fan okay so let's go ahead and get her open you guys Again, this is what we're working with, okay? A money 1B30, ombre 1B30, okay? That's what we're doing today. This is what she's looking like. Look how bomb that color is. Listen, you guys, color makes me nervous. Uh, I'm, I'm usually, I always go to black. Uh, it's um, the uh the one b is at the top at the roots okay and then of course you have the 30 all the way around that immediately made me nervous <laughs> for real um i'm a I will meet, i'm a one b chick and i just that's just my fallback um for everything and especially when i'm doing certain styles because it i need it to blend in with my hair as much as possible but oh oh i'm seriously nervous about this it's a beautiful color, but I'm trying to really step outside of my comfort zone when it comes to color, you guys. Now, what I will say about these pieces and the natural me's, don't really get crazy about picking these out. Uh, what I noticed with my wig, I definitely love the curls and how it looks uh, once I've worn it for a minute. You know what I'm saying? So once I've worn her for about a month or longer, as long as you kind of keep her up, put her up, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, you know, don't sleep here and don't be, don't, don't be abusing her. Okay. Um, but as time goes by, she definitely looks better. Uh, she looks even more natural to me. I love that. You can see that. That's, that's super bomb. And you guys, it's not a lot to do with this, which is even more, more so why I love, uh, this collection that uh, Janet has. When I do do wigs, I go this route. Okay. Uh, for a, a harder textured look. Um, but let's go ahead and cut the lace for this, you guys, and let's see what happens, okay? Um, by the way, 
normal setting, okay? Uh, we got the combs in the front, two combs in the front, of course, the middle part, and there's a comb in the back as well, okay? All right, you guys, so I'm finished cutting this lace here. Um, this is pretty much what it came out for me. I gotta say, uh, again, like I told you, I already worn this piece before in a 1B, and the lace seems softer to me. I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, the other lace was a little bit harder. This is a good thing. This is not a bad thing at all. Um, I was just surprised, pleasantly surprised, as I kind of was cutting through the lace. I was expecting it to be a little bit um, rougher, okay? Uh, of course, you see me. I have my, uh, my wig cap on, you guys. Uh, Supernatural 4C up under here, so I just got her braided back uh, with my wig uh, cap on. Let's throw this piece on and see what's good. Oh my gosh. This color though. This color though. You guys, this color is scaring you, girl. I am not a curl of chick. Now, again, I'm not going to do too much to her, but I am going to kind of finger through some of these curls because I like, um, you know, a bigger, I just, I don't want the curls to look so neat, okay, is what I'm saying. Oh my gosh, I got to get used to this color though. Okay, so this is pretty much the, the lineup. Uh, as far as the edge, and I love it. But again, there's not a lot that I need to do with this. I'm um, gonna we'll just kind of pick, pull this back a little, pick some of my edges out, and really just kind of blend that in, ladies, okay? You don't have to do much for this at all, especially if you have a natural texture, just kind of put her on and go. Um, and I'm not gonna do too much picking either, because I do want her to wear I'm gonna go this route. Or are you gonna kinda pull her to the side? Ooh. I swear, my loves, I swear, sisters, I gotta get used to this color. You guys leave a comment, whatever down below. Let me know what you think. Again, in the black, I'm such a fan of her. And I love the wig anyway. I'm a fan of what she looks like. I just gotta kinda. Step out of my box a little bit more, okay? Do I even want to bang her? I may bang her. I actually think I may bang her. Just kind of picking through my fingers. I do want these curls a little less defined, like I said, than what they are. I think I'm gonna bang her. I think I'm gonna cut me a bang for her, you guys. I don't know. Maybe not just yet, but definitely over time, I'm gonna have her banged out. <laughs> All right. So again, let me adjust her. the combs okay and what I'm gonna do is just kind of take out a little bit of my edges and uh, and be done with that bobby pin her down here and uh, voila what do you guys think about this color man Man, it's so different. But the overall cut, style, feel, look, I love. Uh, am I in love with her as much as my 1B right now? Not yet, but 
Let me let me let me put some days and some thought behind it. I'll let you know. All right, you guys. So again, just to kind of blend in these edges a little bit, uh, all I'm doing is taking just a pick of this comb and pulling out, you know, my edges. So you can see where the wig stops. I'm just pulling out some of mine, and I'm not even really concerned about um, adding like um slicking my edges down okay it just depends on how i'm wearing her um but when i do i'll put a little bit of edge of control but other than that because i'm natural and i'm you know it doesn't bother me for me to have like a kinky look on my edges if i want it neater of course i'll edge control it out but again all i'm going to do is pick out some of my hair there and just blend her in. I am going to bobby pin her right there. So that she can stay down. All right. Yeah. What I did was just take a couple strands, okay? I just pulled a couple strands. I don't want anything like super, I don't want it just to be super huge because I am gonna continue to wear this a, a, a couple different ways. But uh, a couple of these pieces that I kind of picked, I just wanna cut a bang for her. All right. And again, don't pull to her too much because again, with time, this particular wig will wear, okay? The curls will wear and they will look very natural. I just wanted that kind of look, okay? Yeah. And so when I get tired of her, I can still go back to the natural, you know, the down the middle or shifting to the side, however, but I think I'm gonna kinda rock this for right now i'm digging her again you know definitely a uh, five out of five stars for me okay it's just the color that i gotta get used to um and step out of my comfort zone with that you guys uh again leave your comments uh let me turn to the back so you can see this is what she's looking again the ombre at the top of course the, the curls are super defined right now right super curly super bouncy um hair goes for me this is what i'm trying to get on my natural hair on my uh, my hair growth journey right now and we're doing pretty good still got some ways and a time to go okay but this is what she's looking like of course plenty of reviews on the money um i just wanted a different um color and She's wearing, she's wearing on me. <laughs> I like it, okay? It's different, and I'm, I'm such on, uh, right now my life is all about being different and stepping out of the box, although I always kind of have been. But um, I love it, you guys. Again, rock that for me. Again, I'll be back next week uh, talking about something else, rocking something else, giving you a different style, giving me my vibes, okay? Make sure that you tune back in, guys. Until the next time, um, and again, I'm going to leave everything in the description box for you, the details, the cost. She was under $30. Now, of course, you can go to different sites. Some of them, you know, are up a little bit higher, but she runs between $30 to $40, depending on where you got her. I got her on ebonyline.com. Uh, this was $29.99. Of course, with taxes, it was still under $30, somewhere around $35. I think Sam's Beauty Supply has her somewhere around $39. She's pretty popular right now. Um, but just kind of, uh, I'll let you know where I got mine. I'll leave it everything down below. If you have questions, make sure you hit me up so that I can uh, answer those questions for you guys. And I will come back later uh, and give you an update, maybe a couple weeks into it. Uh, and see what you think, okay? Uh, again, until the next time, be kind to somebody, you guys. Uh, you be a blessing to somebody else if you can, and you and your families stay blessed as well. It's your girl, Sheba, signing off for the count.
Bye-bye. Peace.